uh, we're good to go here. Okay, cool. What's up, everybody? You're back in uh, our series of uh, episodes where we're talking about songs from the Grove Sundial. Right. I'm Jason, and I play drums in Warforged. And uh, we're going to go down the list one by one, starting with uh, Mr. Lexicon over here. Yeah, I'm Alex Lexicon of Love. I play bass, and I love you. And I, I play vocals, too. Uh, I'm Max uh, Guitar. Uh, I'm the Steel Jossier. Hell yeah, man. The Steel Joss. That's right. Guitar. What up, Steel? Actually, yeah. I'm going to change mine. I'm Tycho RC Maximum Heat. Isn't that the... There you go. Yeah, that was a thing. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, me. Sigma. <laughs> yeah, dude. Guitar. Special late night episode of uh, the Warforged podcast, dude. Yeah, we're... Special we Jay Leno. Out of order. Jay Warforged Leno episode, dude. And yeah, and yeah. now we're at the Solarium in the evening yeah, here. Yeah, dude. In Naperville, Illinois, is, which fucking the, rules? Uh, the observatory. Yeah, it's kind of sick seeing like. Yeah, so uh, what's what's going on with like that shot right like there? Seeing that light and the leaves in there. <laughs> I really like it. Yeah, it looks nice. I really like that shit. Yeah. Yeah. Like a, an actual like late night talk show host, or I mean, like if we set this up differently, so it was like each of us came in. Oh, we yeah, it's like up. a guest. <laughs> yeah, yeah David Letterman. Yeah. He's like uh, number <laughs> ten reasons why Sheridan Road's a stupid fucking dumb song. Yeah. Uh, number one, uh, <laughs> uh, Jace is on it. So yeah, we're kicking this <laughs> off. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you, Letterman. Fuck. Yeah, dude. Fuck this Letterman. Is an open call out to Letterman. Fuck Leno. Fuck Steve Allen. Oh, Steve Allen's sick. Fuck uh, He's got Johnny, the ultimate pog, dude. Johnny Kewison. So, uh, great band today. <laughs> Warforged. Uh, Johnny Kewison. Uh, <laughs> well, Johnny, <laughs> share it and ruin. What's it about? Hey, why, don't, why don't we tell the folks what it's about? <laughs> Late night edition, dude. Watch yeah. this after 1130. Yeah. No kids. No kids allowed. No kids mm -hmm. allowed. We're making, actually, this one is going to be age-restricted, so yeah. you yeah. have to have an adult YouTube account registered in order to even see this video. It's NC95, you, uh, dude. You can't watch this unless you're 95 years yeah. old. It's that blue. And then on Comedy Central, we already signed a deal with them. They're, yeah. they're going to do a late uh, after midnight edition viewing of uh, all of this commentary 10 years from now they yeah. have it licensed <laughs> and uh, it'll be bigger longer and uncut yeah dude next so, to Artie just Lang's, like me yeah, yeah. it's gonna it's gonna be Artie yeah, Lang's actually, beer league just uh, like you bud <laughs> the South Park movie and this playing on the midnight stash exactly dude. yeah exactly. <laughs> yeah we're, we want to be on that Stay up till one in the morning when we see like, cartoon at the titties the very end of that block you know right when right. everyone's like passed out right well, right, shit. Right before the infomercials. Midnight Stash, man. Artie Lang's fucking stupid-ass beer league. It's not as good as the Grove Sundial, which is what we're here to talk about. Yeah. The th <laughs> good segue, man. Right? You yeah. Know what I'm that was good, man. Just like that time, fucking uh, Artie Lang snorted Coke with fucking fiberglass in it. Yeah. I shared in No. <laughs> yeah, this is my impression <laughs> of Artie Lang snorting Coke that hurt his nose. <laughs> Oh, that's gonna hurt. <laughs> oh, oh, that's gonna hurt. <laughs> I don't think the other episode started off as intense. No, there was one, I think, <laughs> that was, was pretty. That? Yeah, I think the next one's gonna be pretty rough. Okay. We had a, a, a bit of a goof sesh, dude. We gotta, yeah. we gotta like, go into this, man. We gotta start <laughs> yeah. establishing ourselves as podcaster personalities yeah, so we that are. we can make money in the new age. Yeah, well, welcome to the new age. I want to make a hundred thousand dollars a month. Me too. Right? Yeah. But anyway, Wartown, dude. There's a new uh, song in town. It's the third one on our fucking record, dude. It's a new. There's a new song in town, guys. You hear of it? Anybody know what it's called? How did it get here? What road did it take? I heard it took. Uh, Saint Jean Pierre Baptiste. <laughs> Jean Baptiste Pont du Sable. Lakeshore Drive. Drive. Yeah. Come on, man. That's a way better song. I'm setting it up, man. I'm pitching it, it right to you. Well, this song. Hello, everybody. This song. <laughs> no way. I gotta do the Jay Leno voice. It's the way this song's called. Fucking. Uh, it's called fucking <laughs> Sharon and Row. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a yeah. fucking good song. It's one of my favorite songs of all time. I like to drive fucking stupid cars. Um, so this song is called Sheridan Road, and uh, it's uh, it was the second single off this record, and uh, it has quite a bit of a uh, <laughs> it's quite a bit of a uh, quite a of, bit of, uh, a, a, fun, of a, a fun story. Yeah, it's a it's a good story. Yeah, the video, right. the fucking writing yeah, of it, it the lyrics, the, it's all good. 
probably it's a, the it's most, an interesting one. I'd say it's the most different song. On Strap the in, yes. It's, it's easily like I think it's the most different song on the record. Easily, it stands out the most. I think out of all of them, especially if you're listening to this record front to back, and it was like, it was the first song that you pitched with clean vocals to us with right. singing. Right. Um, clean vocals. Man, these vocals are fucking clean, dude. Yeah, you think every time clean. that Cheryl Crow goes to record an album, the producer is like, man, <laughs> yeah. uh, Cheryl, you're clean. clean. Vocals I don't know. Are fucking these sound better killer, cleans, dude. I think. Yeah, <laughs> yeah like there's. I hate Cheryl. that. I hate someone that. That's clean, in my fucking memory. Yeah, someone the says fact, clean vocals yeah. to Cheryl, Cheryl Crow, and they're just like, what the fuck are you talking about? The I fact know. that this shit is still an argument in metal is that uh, yeah, it's cool, except the cleans. No if, clean vocals. Please grow the fuck up. Like vocals are vocals, dude. What are you talking about? Out. Like, shut up! I get it. Some people don't like it. I don't get it. I think you're a fucking idiot. Sure. Yeah, some people just don't like singing in their metal. And that's yeah, okay. I mean, you don't want fucking singing on like Alex fucking putridity. But you know, <laughs> for Maybe bands like should, us, though. yeah. yeah. <laughs> it would be weird, but it would be sick. You gotta push those boundaries, though. Maybe somebody will do it. Invent a man that would really Smooth be a slant. clash <laughs> of. Uh, that would be a clash of. Yeah, so Sheridan wrote us the, the new, vibes. <laughs> the new, the newest uh, smooth slam song from Warforged. You, I remember the first, um, yeah. the first time I remember hearing like the demo for the song. I remember you pitching it. I remember you showing it to me at we were hanging out at Danny's, I believe. For some, yeah, reason, that would have been right? it. Yeah, it was uh, his Why Memorial Day party. Okay, we were over yeah. there. No, this was this was written after. We we wrote this on Father's Day. Oh yeah, that's right. That's in so June. Maybe it was Fourth of July or something. You remember hearing it? Yeah, what would that have been then? You're right. Yeah, because Memorial Day is before Father's Day. Interesting. What was I showing you on fucking Memorial Day? Though? I remember just hearing something, something that was like that had singing in it. And I was like, this is good. But I remember hearing this demo pretty early on. It was an earlier song that you wrote on the record. Yeah, it was in June. Yeah, mm -hmm. so it was like it was quick too. It came together really fast. This song was written after we kind of already established the fact that we were going to try and not stick to like one concrete concept or like one concrete right. sound necessarily. Yeah. Um, so I think that that's kind of this was kind of a stab to kind of I don't know for for me at least when I first heard it I was like. It started to sound like a stab at us kind of going into more of a more interesting melodic direction, which I liked. And uh, I don't know. The first time I heard the song, it gave me like the beginning gave me this like Stone Temple Pilots vibe instrumentally. And then once you started to like really flesh out that vocal demo, mm -hmm. it was just like, oh, yeah, God, dude, that man. was that was sick because yeah. the, the I had the original vocal melody. Uh, and we kind of stuck to that. But yeah. Remember, like that, I just like wrote bullshit lyrics to it. I found a way. Yeah. Oh yeah. Out of For the longest here, time, I'm falling. I remember the demo, and I'd listen to the demo, and be yeah. like, I don't know how you're gonna switch these lyrics to the ones yeah. in the album. Well, they, they they it's seamless. Well. I totally forgot yeah. what the original ones were, <laughs> and I remember being yeah, nervous about that. that. I'm glad that I was completely proven wrong because right. the new ones are way better now. <laughs> yeah. But, well, it's, it, you got to think too. It's like with the darkness. I think everybody probably had in mind the fact that this was the first time doing something like this, and obviously, in the world of heavy music, it could be kind of a contentious thing. So, right. I think we were all kind of conscious to do it in a way where it felt more, uh, I don't know, natural or good. Yeah, so it like, was like everybody wanted to it to be sick. You know, we wanted right. it to make make sure mm -hmm. it was like. <clears throat> Really a good stab at it, and yeah. I think that first—that's my favorite singing on the record—is still the, probably that whole first vocal passage. We had the, yeah, the um, harmonies are awesome. Yeah, the, fucking, the seal harmonies. Yeah, yeah it's got that classic seal. like Alex Damsky <laughs> seal shit going on. Which <laughs> okay, I think you do that. That's definitely like something you do. And uh, as we've done shit over the years, like you'll throw like a little little sass on it that has like a cool seal vibe i think well i like seal He's yeah good. i think we've had a few people say that sound reminded them of mike Patton, which i really did oh, yeah. get but i think it's more of a seal but i don't know maybe you think it's mike Patton. yeah whatever color. anybody yeah. relates it to it's cool. think it's it's, i think it's just kind of i don't know i think of it like yeah i could see the seal comparison but i don't know we listen to a lot of fucking r&b yeah. shit so it's like i think it's yeah. kind of a result of just kind of trying to flex that, oh, 
other style muscle to treat create something a little bit more unique so i i don't know i think people might expect us to kind of embrace maybe an element like that as more of a background texture because the band is like so based in at i don't know the past music of ours was very you know heavy in atmosphere so maybe you know because a lot of bands really i feel like at least death metal bands or bands of you know the more progressive variety if they're really introducing that element it usually starts as like a background layer you know what i mean yeah like right. something pretty minor contortionist so I think or like something yeah this was yeah exactly right. so starting out with kind of like trying to be it's funny because like this was really us trying to be ambitious and like Sometimes I listen to it now and I'm like, man, I wonder if we could have gone even fucking crazier with all the singing on that. We could have, for sure. But, um, I think that's the thing by looking yeah. back at it, you can yeah. feel that way. But I think in the moment, it's like, yeah, this is cool. This is like a good. Uh, for me, it felt like a good medium where it's yeah. like, here's a song that starts off like this. We've never done that before. Yeah. Here's a little taste and we'll see what happens after well, that. It, you it, know, it, it's such a good right. example, too, I think, of something that's been brought up a couple times now about the record that, like, it kind of has this repurposed element of atmosphere to it. Cause I feel like the song is one of the more, it does really create an atmosphere on the record, but within the way that it kind of journeys as opposed to like a layer of, you know, keyboards or like a layer Definitely. of fucking like tremolo or something like that. It's just like mm. writing the lyrics to that. I don't know. It just came, I think naturally like the way that lyrically that song turned out and musically, it's just like, I can't even imagine it being something different because it's such a fucking, I don't know. I feel like it's one of the really like concrete staples on the record. Yeah, for sure. And I think, um, you know, by starting off the way it does, it doesn't stay there for long. And I think that's, what's cool about the song is it, it does take you on a journey. Yeah. And, yeah, but it you know, comes back to where it starts. It does, right. but not in the same way, it. which I think is what's cool about it. Where yeah. it's just, it's like, it's, it's got that, that vibe of a, of a song from Warforged that would have a journey to it but in a new way of doing it that I think um, we haven't done before. And I think that was right. something right. Like, we're all really proud of to be able to accomplish that and have that come across in a way that wasn't like stupid because <laughs> it could have been really stupid if you do that wrong. And I think we, it turned out really good. It's okay. cool. Cause we, we've never really had a song that ended musically with such a big, like I feel like at least with such a big <laughs> crescendo like that, other than maybe old friend into, you know, right. Color but that's, memory. that's even still, yeah, the payoff is kind of in color. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. But I think it's kind of cool to have that. It reminds I mean, me of like, like reminds me of liturgy in a little bit of a way. Yeah, Cellar does have that big outro. Yeah, Cellars is definitely like more grandiose, I think. But why can't I even think of it right now? <clears throat> Somebody hum it for Cellar. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah, but I think I one. think um, this song gets to that same crescendo yeah. in a more Hell compact it. fashion. Yes, you know, like in half the runtime, which you know. Isn't necessarily a slam of, on cellar, but it's kind of fish, different. Yeah. It reminds me of a liturgy part. It reminds me of like a part in a liturgy song where the song mm -hmm. picks up because the blast just gets nuts. And like, yeah, but it's very like major. So, like it sounds like it's not like yeah, it's uplifting. Sad sounds great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't know. Sonically, that song obviously just with how different it was in contrast to whatever was written at the time and everything in the past. I kind of knew like lyrically it would have to be something pretty different, you know. And I thought it would be a good chance to try something different and uh yeah initially this was just inspired by reading actually some like mid-era catatonia lyrics um like that is the new day songs songs from oh, okay. oh, yeah. uh i was listening to I didn't catatonia know that. on the way over here yeah um, and, and there's some songs like uh dead end kings or whatever is that the name of that album yeah dead end kings yeah, that album is like 2012 my favorite. but even uh last fair day gone down and like those albums too like there's some songs on those records that really do a good job of telling a story but in a way that's not just so like on the fucking nose and i really like the atmosphere that they create lyrically because it's so visual so i was like okay this song to me you know when i when i hear it it feels like a very like visual like you know sen sensational song but um it just felt like the music kind of had to match that so at first i was like okay well, well you know something we had kind of talked about was like I, th I think kind of a cool way to start off with the grove was like we were all just kind of talking about ideas of different things we liked about music and different things we wanted from the record and, uh, you know, just uh, just kind of things as sort of like the band, you know, we're all kind of taking control of the band again. 
And, um, you know, one thing that was brought up a lot was the idea of having a record where you don't have to listen to it in one sitting. You know, you could go on a drive, you could go on a 15 minute drive, listen to three songs. Mm-hmm. You could go on a long drive, listen to the whole thing, you know, you know, listen to it at any and any kind of capacity you want. And um, this is definitely one of those songs that obviously showcases a different side of the record. And I think, you know, the idea kind of came to me was like, all right, maybe write the song of like a stream of consciousness perspective of like taking a drive, because that was something that everybody did over the pandemic when there was nothing to fucking do. It was something I did a shitload. I know yeah, I didn't, I didn't really do that, but yeah. But yeah, like that was definitely something that it was weird. Like it's weird looking back on it. Cause at the time, yeah, like I, I was just on a like a lot of bike rides though. So it's kind yeah, of, yeah, yeah, similar idea. I bought a car, so I did it a lot. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, I remember like the world's like falling apart, and everyone's just like, "Duh, oh, this sucks." And you're just like, "I want to go play a show." And then you drive around, you're like, "The world was empty." And I remember like I look, I remember at the time being like, "This is something I can do." But looking back, I was like, yeah. "I missed that." <laughs> yeah, right. Like, I kind of miss like of, that uh, feeling of just the emptiness solitude. and yeah. yeah, yeah, and like that'll but never really outside. come back. It's it's very yeah. it's very interesting. It's it's probably the only time I don't know in in our lifetimes that the world will be like that. Yeah, where it's sort like of empty. at least for Hopefully. as at least for as long <laughs> as rule. as long as it was. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. Those first few months, I would just get in my know, car freaky, and. Uh, yeah, I would get in my car. I'd, I'd hit my fucking weed pen and I would just go down a. Uh, down Sheridan Road, I would take a cruise down the street that uh, Sheridan Road take a connects, drive with us down connects to Lakeshore Drive. Sheridan it connects Road. to uh, whatever it's called now. The Alex knows what it's called. He's got a character. Jean Baptiste Pointe de Sable, and uh, that turns into <laughs> Sheridan Road if you keep taking it north, and eventually yeah. you could take Sheridan Road all the way through up to Wisconsin. So uh, it's it's like a statewide. Uh, Road that uh, basically just follows Lake Michigan going north, and it goes through all these really, really, really nice neighborhoods. The north suburbs of Chicago, oh, yeah. like where they filmed uh, a lot of John Hughes movies and shit like that. Oh, yeah. Um, and it's yeah. cool seeing the world change as you continue down a street. Exactly. And like you see the city, and then you see the suburbs, and then you see like kind of the flatness of wisconsin as you go more north there right and that's yeah. like a really cool thing to see the transition of the course of like what an hour 45 Pretty minutes much. You know? i mean when there's no traffic on the road and yeah. like yeah you know it, you were it would be like i would get in the car when i would get out of work at seven so like in the summertime i would drive like and follow the sunsets basically and it was just like i wouldn't always go all the way far like to wisconsin every time but i definitely did a handful of fucking times and it was just crazy kind of seeing like at least the city being so quiet as it was because of everything that was going on but you know that vibe it, it never it just it didn't go away you know the the like you said the entire time you know the suburbs then you get you know you get to those rich suburbs then you get way the fuck out north by yeah, like lake Z- yeah. you know wherever the fuck zion yeah, like, and shit yeah, zion yeah and, and then you uh, get Winthrop to wisconsin Harbor and it's all and, like flatlands yeah exactly yeah. so it's but it's crazy to see all of that be as quiet as it really is you know and uh, just puts a lot in frame. And when you're high as fuck, it's that just you know puts it even more in fucking frame, <laughs> at least in a different frame. But um, it definitely just puts a different perspective on everything. And uh, it was a lot of like it was there was some kind of comfort that I would find in just doing that. You know, it was like. It made me feel like it was at least kind of like doing something, even though you couldn't really see your friends or go out and do the things you wanted to do, like enjoy live music or even make music together. And uh, I don't know. It was kind of just the one thing that I really remember taking advantage of because we have a car that's not a piece of shit. And like, yeah, I just figured it was the perfect lyrical subject for the song and like. I always think it's cool, like naming a song after something a little bit unconventional when you're in a metal band. And I think doing a street name is fucking sick. Yeah. And uh, it just really hits close to home for me because there's a lot of history just in my life tied to Sheridan Road. Like when I was I was born in at a hospital in Evanston, not too far off of Sheridan Road. When I was born, my grandparents and uh, certain other fa- family members on my mom's side lived off of apartments on Sheridan Road in a couple different buildings. Um, yeah, and uh, 
I ended up, we ended up kind of doing a low key dedication to the song for my grandfather who passed away during the making of this record. But uh, yeah, I mean, when I was a child, they would always come pick me up from my parents' place, our house in the city, and uh, we would always go do something and then eventually end up at their apartment on Sheridan Road. And we would always take Lakeshore Drive and, you know, see the entire city pretty much, or at least the downtown area. And yeah, it's just got a lot of. Uh, sentimentality attached to it for me so it was kind of cool to be able to uh i got to show him the song before he passed away which was really cool mm -hmm. um he listened to it a few times actually yeah because both uh, of, both your grandparents came out to the show he played at empty bottle right correct yeah so they were supporting yeah. you yeah you know, yeah, much they they always, can, yeah they is, always definitely had a big part in my yeah, life that, like, and, uh, in 2019 yeah, yeah yeah which that's cool that's just cool like yeah, <laughs> your grandparents come out to a show, exactly. you know, and like yeah. actually taking the time to listen to it I don't and think my, understand my it. Parents have ever even come to any show that I have played. <laughs> yeah, uh, so yeah, that's Whatever. like it's fine. <laughs> yeah, it, it's it's kind of hard to get them to come out sometimes, but that's cool that both your grandparents did yeah, come it was, out. And it was really cool. Your grandpa was able to see us and stuff. Yeah. and listen to the song and appreciate it. That's very cool. Yeah, it was cool. It was cool to kind of tie that all in together into that package of what that song became, and it really just became this kind of staple of creativity for me on this record that once I kind of finished that song lyrically, it felt so concise and it kind of captured the mood of what I would feel on those drives, like my feelings, but as well as just not really dwelling on that because that, that's sort of the lyrics towards the end of the song. But I would say, you know, having a song that's really a journey that's a lot more atmospheric, you know, and the lyrics aren't written in a way where... Uh, I don't know. It's kind of like confining you to something. It, it was just really cool to be able to uh, express something a little differently this time around. And it really encouraged me to just even go more outside of the box with some of the other songs on the record lyrically. And uh, yeah, I'm really just, I fucking love that song. It's, it's probably like my favorite song on the, on the record. It's probably, I don't know. It's hard to say, but I just think it's so fucking, I don't know. So good in my opinion. And, yeah, it might be. It might be my favorite too. At least, yeah. definitely one of my favorites. Maybe the favorite. I mean, yeah. It's I got love it your fucking solo, dude. Is so fucking. Yeah, sick, you did man. your nice little. Uh, the yeah. you made that trim the tremolo picking lead uh, your own there. It was oh, very different in the part, demo. Yeah. yeah, it was very different in the demo. And yeah, you yeah. Because I put a bunch of ebo, like a bunch of ebo layers under that too. Yeah, and it's very sick. Yeah, it definitely changed like kind of the whole vibe of that. Part. Yeah, it's, it's way kind of... more scary than it was. Yeah, no. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, like, that, it, it, really it had good. more of that. Like I, I feel like it ended up sounding a little more war forgedy. Right, with, uh, right. For war, sure, it's war forging. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, with, with, with the way it ended up sounding though, for <laughs> right. sure. Well, I feel like the, the chorus too kind of has this uneasy like it's melodic but it's also got this like uneasiness to it dun, dun, um, dun, 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 dun. yeah definitely yeah with that and like, like that part the, and yeah that's how the melody is and like the harmonies and the melody and shit like it's it's got it's a very bit twisty of that. and turny yeah like yeah just like, it is like just the ravine like sheridan road found on yes. sheridan road oh, <laughs> oh yeah wow. honestly, honestly i yeah. promise you all that was not planned that was not a plan well, yeah, thing. I mean, so let's talk about how the song was written because this is yeah. this is kind of cool so yeah, yeah. so max bought this. max bought well, a yeah, taco so, mini so yeah i needed yeah. to get an acoustic because i've been playing guitar for 20 years and i never owned a nice acoustic and after adrian quit i was like well we want to write Warforged songs, we probably should have acoustic parts, and I should probably get an acoustic to become acclimated with that process. So I got a nice Takamine. 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 Uh, so I got the guitar, <laughs> the, the Takamine, and, um, <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, you came by for Father's Day, and I uh, had said, Alex, would you like to come upstairs and check out this guitar? It's sick. And you're like, all right, so... Okay, oh, uh, sure. And there was a new what you wanted me to do. <laughs> so uh, we went upstairs and you were playing the guitar, and yeah. yeah, you just came up with like the whole intro on the acoustic, like out of yeah. nowhere. Yeah, intro plus outro. It's Ring. the same chord progressions, really. Ring. Just clean. But, uh, yeah, and, and there was like a, yeah, there was a nice thing, yeah, where we, we wrote that song, and then you had some, I did, you had those riffs written already. Yeah, didn't like, you? but I played, the problem was I played them differently to you, and they were what, that's what's in the song. Yeah. And it fucked me up because mm. trying to learn the song, oh. they weren't what I remembered 
from when I was just fucking around on my own. Yeah, I but, remember that now. Yeah, so, but yeah, it was kind of like I played, I think I played them in pretty much the order they're in, where it's like yes. the, the, yeah. the God forbid Opeth ripoff part. Yeah, because you had like a 6-8 <laughs> yes. like thing, you were like, oh, let me see if there's, is there anything that fits with that, yeah. Yeah, because it was the like... The verses are 4-4, four, four, but... The, yeah, but you had the, the verse, yeah. and then the chorus, and then... 3-4. 3-4, um, the, um, the heavy the down three four three four three it's three four not six eight bam where it's like the four four that riff was five four because we were like what the fuck's going on with that but yeah (laughs) but that was when i just kind of played what i was feeling and it was just like exactly but it was was like yeah it was cool because yeah yeah, it was like trying to throw like a curveball on it and it's like a it's actually kind of a natural feeling curveball in a lot of ways was that um was that part of it that the the octavi opethy riff like um when you wrote it that that it went up a step like that was in. Alex's okay. idea. Yeah, he that did part it that way. Me up for the longest time. It took me so long to like. Yeah, oh, yeah it's that's Metallica, dude. <laughs> yeah, that was the, the verse, vibe with it. Was the like, verse riff is like, yeah, like you you play the 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 one riff on the open fret, and it's like based off the open, and then when you come uh, back with it, you you play it on the second fret, like yeah. Metallica, dude, like fucking Master of Puppets or uh, yeah, yeah. any of their shit. Really. Yeah, which that was Blackened. like, because yeah, because when after we were um we did all that. We, on Father's Day, when you, okay, you played your acoustic part, I played this, and we filmed it and whatever. You you took it home and you kind of ran with it and or yeah. and, you know fleshed it all out. There was an original. I don't know if I ever recorded it, but there was an original idea where the uh, the song uh, after the last chorus it like got heavier instead of got instead of getting melodic and going into the solo and shit. And uh, yeah, I remember you I said don't you were gonna do that. I, I know I have like a MIDI of it. I don't think I ever recorded it, but it was like I remember telling you it that was stinks, a dude. terrible idea. Yeah, like, you, you have yeah, to yeah, make yeah. It I go. sent it to you. I was like, oh, is this cool? And you're like, nah. Yeah, it's like it's got to go. Ha- it's got to go like yeah. big to end it. And yeah, yeah. So yeah, like it, it ended up being the uh, bringing back out. the chords at the beginning of the the song to uh, be this like melodic outro because I was originally going to end it heavy. I was like, oh, it's just going to be like the uh, the intro is just going to be like melodic and that's going to like be the end of the melodic part of the song and then it's like going to just end heavier and heavier and heavier and it's like, yeah, that was a really bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it, turned out way better. it turned out a million times better just yeah. going melodic, like bringing it back, like coming full circle with the song with the, uh, the intro chords kind of going faster with the blast beats and shit. It's like way better. But uh, I got to see if I can... F- I think it might just be like a MIDI. Well, if you can find it, yeah. you'll post it right here in the video. Yes, right here. And then post it right we're here. We're back. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Got to refresh, Whoa, bro. Whoa, <laughs> I only hear one thing out of my... Uh, Uh-oh, did someone step is, on your you, cable? Yeah, are you unplugged there? It's I don't know. Somebody, uh, before, hey, are you unplugged? Somebody probably uh, unplugged fucking did there? after they jumped out of their fucking... Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's... Done that? I don't know. Enough? Oh, remember, remember when that happened to you live? <laughs> and we had to... Yes. Uh, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna Go. bring it up. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it. Was, it was when remember we were this. Song, I also uh, <laughs> remember yeah. when we were. Yes, it was. So I don't know about you. Don't know about this. When we were driving oh. down to Nashville for Stevie's oh, wedding. Yeah. 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 Um, we were driving. And all of a sudden, it just got really fucking hot in the car. And oh, Alex, man, hell yeah, had, uh, he, he towed. He he towed the um air conditioning the air conditioning off. off. So he had his feet, oh, his shoes off, and his socks he was sitting off. Like a fucking yeah, his toe turned off the AC. Yeah, <laughs> and we were like fucking with it because he was doing his fucking foot games in the car, like he always does, <laughs> yeah. like a fucking eight year old. I gotta throw out that yeah, windscreen now. Yeah, he's playing his fucking full whatever, dude. Just like, <laughs> market <laughs> Alex. Ew, did you just put that on your crusty ass, big bunion ass toe? It's fine, dude. It's not a bunion. Yo, it's a fucking. Look like it got I'm gonna, another I'm gonna, toe growing I'm, out of it, boy. I'm gonna swap all these windscreens before next time, so someone will get the mystery <laughs> Sick, one. Sick, dude. I hope Ooh. I get that one. Uh, Let me see if it smells like cheese. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, nice cheese, cheese please. Your toe. Does it smell no, like dude, cheese? Yeah, I towed the fucking thing. Yeah, because I, because you're too tall. 
motherfucker to cross yeah. your feet and same thing with you you're too fucking driving to cro- the, the, the I cross your, your, cross your that fucking car, feet like an yeah idiot, you do dude. yeah because you can't i, I can't i have the room i don't need I can to do, do that. it it's comfortable you just sit like a normal it. person yeah, why you yeah, just sit. it's not normal to <laughs> you have to cross your feet you're dude. mad yeah because you guys are bullshit you have to you're bullshit. Yes, you sit like a fucking idiot. You guys are bullshit. I'll no kill one forced, you. No one forced you. I mean, to. It, but it was just funny how maybe like we look. Who, we were we were maybe, wherever, um, wherever this globe lands is where you have to live now because I hate you. <laughs> I towed it. Istanbul, Turkey. <laughs> Istanbul, Turkey. Go there, dude. That was like see how easy it <laughs> is. That was like the Philippines, dude. <laughs> this is Istanbul, dude. No, that's not Turkey. <laughs> yeah, what? Do you even know fucking geography, <laughs> man? You got to go back and get your Jesus. Yeah, this bit is not right funny. Now. It's on my side. Yeah, this bit is poor. Yeah, this you're is gonna a, have to do something really sick. Istanbul, you have to do Turkey. something really sick to turn this around before we fucking. <laughs> All right, fine. You, I'll make dude. out with Australia, dude. Come on, let's that's look. not enough. <laughs> yeah, it's not bad. Ditch the globe, oh, Australia. I love you so much. <laughs> Oh. Oh. Okay, yeah, put it down. Yeah, this is too far. Is All right. That's <laughs> enough, <laughs> <you> guys. <laughs> no, that was actually kind of sick. Yeah, yeah it it's cool. awesome. I, dude. I like that you French the globe. Yeah, I didn't French it. I just he fucked the globe. I, mean, yeah, I fucked <laughs> it. The the globe. Globe. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the globe. I fucked the. <laughs> <laughs> this globe right here. Yeah, yes, the I globe. Fucked it. I fucked it. <laughs> yeah, this globe right here. Yeah, I fucked it. I put my cock in it. I yeah. fucking fucked it. Ugh. Ugh. I fucked Antarctica. She, she wanted was me to, a hua. Yeah, she wanted me to enter the Arctic, but I, mean, but I said nah. Did you fuck your aunt Arctica? <laughs> yeah, dude. I, so, I fucked my aunt Sonata Arctica, dude. Another couple good things worth mentioning about this <laughs> yeah. song would probably be the fact that it was like. We were also pretty stoked on it that we decided to like shoot all of the promotional pictures for this record off of Sheridan Road. So every picture you see is taken somewhere located off of that fucking street, which is pretty cool. True. Um, And uh, yeah, I don't know. It was just I feel like we did a lot for this fucking song. Yeah, the video. Yeah, we did the video based on all the live footage from the tour. That we shot. Uh, the drums in the song are fucking fun. Yeah, on, on Alex's 360p, whatever. What was everyone calling it? It was 22p. Is it really 20? Wait. No, Big, Big's called it the serial killer camera. Yeah, it is very like. Yeah. Yeah, I think it was but, 480p. Uh, yeah, it was, no, it, was 7, it was 720. I think it was 720p. It was 720 for sure. What? Nah. At least. I think it was a 4K camera. That was some yeah. standard def shit, dude. It yeah. was the first 4K camera made in yeah, 2006. 720 is standard def. No, it's not. That's that's technically HD. Yeah, it's HD. No, 10, 1080 um, is HD. No, that's HD um, plus, I think. Um, no. Or ultra HD. I don't know. But no, 720 is considered HD. I'm better than you guys. Dude, you don't know resolutions. Dude. I'm a fucking genius poet. You usually don't know more than... Yeah. No, I do know more. <laughs> 720 is not high def. No, it, it's, it's it's that's what they call I mean, it. That's HD. When technically. it came out, it definitely was. <laughs> what in 2000? Uh, it's so funny how often like 69. I have to yeah. remember you go off shit on opinion instead of actual fact. Sometimes that's not the fact, dude. I'll look it but up. Sometimes man. that's how you talk, though, and it's like very. I have to like. I'm killing you, man. There's something else recently. You were like, I don't think that's what it is. Oh, the Kendrick Lamar song. You're like, yeah, dude. I don't think it's what it is. Dude. It's not what it's about. But it's dude. like Kendrick has come out and interviews and said that's what it's about what but you're is? like nah that can't be it yeah uh 720p is considered high definition no i'm looking up something different it says uh uh this is called max is wrong so 1080p is it's full actually, HD. <laughs> it actually says that standard definition goes up to 720p that's interesting. You'll have to and send everything me a link 1080 to this and site, plus dude. is uh is uh Anti Max uh, 720p. He he's not allowed to actually watch it legally. 720p is considered so. standard high def, and 1080p is considered full high def. Oh damn! So that's like half right, dude. You're like half right. Oh, I mean, I'm seeing something completely different. Like, I, I respect. I'm more of a glass I respect half what, empty I, thing. I respect I what you're saying. Wrong. Uh, I respect what you're saying you and shit. But like, what so I'm saying, like, you guys wrong. make a great team because you're half right and you're half right. No, so together, I mean, like, my homepage is set to Alex is always wrong. Dot gov. Yeah, <laughs> so, uh, uh, I might want to check out this Mac site and see if I yeah, need dude, a new homepage. Yeah, dude, that's a psyop, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Me being wrong is a psyop. <laughs> <laughs> me being right is a psyop, no, dude. dude. Yeah. Me, me being wrong being is right a psyop, dude. right about a metal I, fact I, is always yeah, a psyop, No, dude. Dude, yeah. I mean, like... I, dude, Arch Enemy fucking put out Demigod by Behemoth. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. Well, let me check Metal Archives real quick. No, you're wrong. 
<laughs> yeah, dude. Like so that was on the front page sure. of uh, Alex is always wrong. Dot gov today. Yeah, dot yeah. Gov. yeah. I mean, Max is always wrong. Dot gov. Uh, Max is a stupid idiot. No, you said Max is wrong. Dot com. That was your website. Who doesn't know anything about? Wow. Uh, I think you're who making... doesn't know anything about a uh, high def or standard def, uh, and who doesn't know anything about directing Alex, a film I'm or about editing? Yeah, so, yeah. I'm talking yeah. about a real yeah. website. No, I'm trying to find it. So I'm Wikipedia. HD is considered 720, and FHD, which is full HD, is 1080. So that's what it is. So they're both technically high def. <laughs> FHD, <laughs> you mean yeah. fuck? Here comes Alex with the uh, you trust dick. Wikipedia. <laughs> you trust Wikipedia. UH, uh, yeah, fuck his dick. And 4K UHD is HD. You know, 4K and uh, yeah. QHD is uh, <laughs> you know 1040p. I, you know, 14, sorry, 1440p. Quentin Quad <laughs> HD is what it's quad, not quad. Quentin. Yeah, quad, quad HD. So you yeah. got like a quad pod, like your sack is like quad. Yeah, instead of double. What's a five? You got pod. four balls. Yeah, I got four balls and it yeah. holds me up. Okay, so it makes you sick, though, right? Because it's, it's it's it's. I don't care about this anymore. Yeah, well, you're wrong. Yeah, because yeah, you're wrong. Okay, so you give up, so you're wrong. No, it's 720p is you. HD. No, 720p uh, is standard definition. No, it's not. I just fucking read it. 720p. Fuck I read moron. it too. I read somewhere else. <laughs> Yeah, alexiswrong.gov. Yeah, I'm better. I, dude, Alex I'm is always wrong.gov. So first off, Alex better, already man. gave away the fact that he made up that website about you by first saying it was called maxiswrong.com. No, it, well, it and changed. Then he, and then he changed it changed it to halfway Max through. Maxiswrongdotgov because <laughs> yeah. he liked the gist of the website that already yeah, existed. It, it changed halfway through. About, I let him know about <laughs> minutes before he said it. It changed called my it homepage, which is alexiswrong.gov, and there's a daily article that's a. Uh, it's like every day it's a metal, like a uh, encyclopedia metallica metallum fact that's incorrect. That's every day there's a fact, new yeah. one. Yeah, mine is like, a uh, mine is a different gov though. It's Albanian. <laughs> yours is American. So yours is dot <laughs> is al dot gov. Yeah, dot al, al, dot al idiot uh, top level domain. <laughs> yeah, alb dot gov, dude. Yeah, that's alb a, max max is a stupid idiot, fucking dickhead a shit -L -B. boy. Yeah, uh, dot I'll never, alp, I'll never gov, say anything dude. mean about you. Yeah, you just did, man. You tried to fucking uh, <laughs> slander my name by saying that I couldn't talk uh, the right way about HD, man. Okay. You're fucking with me. Uh, let's man. back to the song. Yeah, sick uh, tangent. Yeah. <laughs> no, I wanna, you know, I you know something, man. Fuck this song, man. This is more important. Yeah, <laughs> fight. I wanted to uh, bring yeah, up dude. the working title for this one because on Father's Day <laughs> yeah, we were yeah, watching. We were watching Mr. Bean all day, and there's that episode "Tee Off Mr. Bean" where he's trying to uh, golf. <laughs> I forgot. About I, I, yeah, I forgot. And so what it was too we named the, the, yeah. the working title of the song was "Tie Off Mr. Bean," which yeah, is like an unreleased episode where yeah he, he shoots up. <laughs> yeah, he Tie like, Off Mr. Bean. That's <laughs> funny. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, and then he like runs into that three wheeled car with his car because he's high. Yeah, it's good. That's yeah, a good unreleased yeah, episode. Good episode. Only we've yeah. seen it. Cause yeah, because uh, we made it, and like uh, also like uh, after we saw it, after we made it, we like destroyed it, and like no one, even like our best friends, didn't. Well, see it was it. one of the first yeah. videos in shout H out Rowan in and Atkinson for your help with we this blew, project. I never got to see we it. Blew most of our budget on uh, Rowan Atkinson just for that <laughs> yeah. to make the unreleased episode that yeah. no one's gonna see it's except episode, us. We yeah. saw it. Yeah. yeah. So once for the that working failed, title of the song, that's that's actually name changed. That's when it changed. No, you guys. You guys actually saw a dummy version. You guys didn't actually. See the version that me and Max saw. Like we're like, okay, we're like better than you. The is this one yeah. of these? This is we're one like of the smarter things, than one you. Of the facts that you you didn't you saved for the podcast, so you yeah. can drop it on us. Yeah, yeah, man. You know what, man? I'm like, I, I don't, I don't, I don't respect your integrity, bro. So that's why you don't get to see the original version. Yeah, he's your of friend. Tie dude. off, Mister Bean. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, that's what he does in the episode, dude. Yeah. He does heroin, and then he actually kidnaps a baby. <laughs> do, you remember, do you remember earlier today, Alex? Yeah. When I started posting the reviews that have been coming in for the album, and then you ask, "How are, how are you?" That was a joke, dude. <laughs> I funny? was joking because I didn't are know. I didn't know where Googling you saw that. The album name. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know where you guys were finding these because I didn't. I didn't know where they were coming from. I was like fucking joking yeah, around. I'm fucking sitting there just googling our album reviews. After well, after you mentioned I didn't, that, I, I was didn't like, actually oh, you know what that. I should do? You can set like a Google alert. For whenever, like, <laughs> mm -hmm. you know, like some, like, I, I, I just said it for Warford. Yeah, that is a Jace move. You're right. <laughs> I mm -hmm. love it. Yeah. But now it's, it's like, sick. I realize it would be a good idea because now anytime any of that shit comes up, I'll get, like, an email about idea, it. That's a good idea, yeah. There yeah. you go. Yeah. 
anyway. Well, now that we now already I, have that filter, I spilled, my, I spilled the beans. That's, that's built my, into Chase's AI. It's my secret. Yeah. Well, good. That's sick. So let me know, and then I'll share them on our fucking social. You'll media probably still find it. Yeah, we'll me. share it in. Road <laughs> I just found it from our fucking Twitter people. Just tag shit, us so. and shit, man. Yeah, it's just some Facebook tags for oh, the reviews. Okay. You go to our page and see who mentions yeah. us. It's been the reviews. So. I just get notifications on my phone from 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 oh, Facebook and Twitter. Whatever. Oh, my Facebook. Anyway. anyway, there's a really sick merch design we got made for this song that we used on yes. our last tour by uh, Starfish Hospital on Instagram, and I really like how it turned out. It's got the Baha'i Temple on it, which is where. Uh, Sheridan Road will take you to if you decide to pull off and take a little bit of a detour or a smoke break because that's where I like to take my smoke breaks. Just be careful for the uneven when tiles cruise. when you're walking around the yeah. Baha'i Temple. Yeah, there's secret yeah. tiles that they have like a, you can like a if you we, step we on open them and one of them descend and into madness. Alex stuck his fucking head in there and <laughs> it just heard something that was yeah. like. Yeah, my hair blew and back and there was like fire. Yeah, and it was like, uh, guys, don't go down there. Yeah. <laughs> that's oh, yeah, guys, that's... I think 720 <laughs> is an HD. Yeah, and that's that's where I realized it. Dude. Guys, that's where I realized I was right. Don't go down there. <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> Using that as like a fucking like catchphrase, even though it's just obvious that like the damage that's happened to your head at that point is already enough to realize you should have gone down there, but you'd say it anyway to drive it home. Yeah. Guys, don't go down there. <laughs> that's fucking. I wanted to uh, talk about the video a little bit if you guys wanted to. Like, yeah, please. We sure. Nah. Uh, filmed a filmed a lot of that shit on uh, well, all of it on the. Uh, on HD Terrestria tour on yeah, HD we, we had 720 this idea to start fucking with like that camera like as far as yeah. making videos surrounding a, the record uh, it's an HD camera um that's uh really you probably got some good footage just because the camera itself is so goofy that like you know, that's like a non-threatening camera. Yeah. I mean, it is. Kind I mean, of threatening, I, I would have, I would have loved. To, yeah, it's way more threatening than if I just had my camera. phone out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. You know, I like, take but that uh, back. but uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I thought it was like a a cool idea to. Uh, it's like it harkens back to the uh, the, uh, the old first. tour videos of uh, of of yesteryear, the Black first Dahlia murder days shit. of the internet um, age. Yeah, it's, it's cool. You know, like I, I always liked. Uh, I always like those kinds of videos, so we kind of had that idea to uh, to go along with uh, yeah, paying with homage that. to the band DVD right, era. yeah, tour, yeah, tour video band, yeah, and like one thing I would love to have done is to have someone uh, film it for us because we would have had a lot more footage, but uh, right, you know, it turned out pretty good as we far as what we got, yeah, yeah. So like, yeah, because like the 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 day we got we got back on like a Monday, I think from uh, that tour, and I think uh, yeah, on trapped, Tuesday like, or Wednesday, ready. I just like started. I miss everybody. Yeah. yeah, I was just like, all right, I'm gonna like, yeah, review all this footage and uh, see if I can start. And it was like done in like a couple days with a few yep. adjustments later. Now, but um, edits as well. yeah, I don't know. What did you guys? Uh, what's your guys' favorite part of the video? What do you guys like about Man. this video? I did like that it went through like it was. I mean, it was basically chronological i think right no no it wasn't it's a little out of order yeah yeah but i did like that you kept like scenes together like different uh you know things we did um Little so there vine- are all these different vignettes. kind of sequences. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah it was, was like, like topics as opposed to just random footage. Yeah, you know, like right? when we went to Bucky's, at least one of the times we went to Bucky's, fucking the main like, time when you guys were bowling yeah. and shit and throwing fucking gutter balls. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, dude. Yeah. I was not Speed's the name that. of the game, man. I, think I was like sleeping or something, but <laughs> yeah, it was the last show. Uh oh, yeah, that was the last show. Yeah, Pittsburgh. Yeah, Pittsburgh. But yeah, that was uh that was good. Uh, me and Max bowling to speed running fun. the bowling. Yeah, bowling we speed run. Speed Is that what you guys are trying to do? Like just throw it as fast Max as you was could. And, like Max <laughs> yeah. was getting it so fast, and every everyone that we were bowling That's with like was scary, like dude. hella impressed. They were like, "Dude, that was so sick that you, he's he's bowling like forty five to fifty miles an hour. You got fifty something. I, I I only filmed forty five, but I think you got like fifty one or fifty two. I think I did. Yeah, something crazy. I think I, where you just like. You, 
It was like one of your first ones God too. So like yeah, he just yeah. kept going back. I think I broke yeah. the thing after that because I definitely did some right. faster and it didn't you register. You threw it. You threw a bowling I mean, ball. Max, that Max fast, is a beast dude, yeah, at bowling. That yeah. yeah, that's good. scary, dude. That's like when Max <laughs> fast walks at you, like. Man, yeah, that, it's the same. Yeah, right? a bowling ball. <laughs> that's what was sick. Threw, is like, if you threw up that ball that fast into a person's head, it would kill them. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. You it's could bad. kill them with a bowling yeah. ball. Oh easily. Um, I think at one point I threw the ball so hard it like fucked up the ball return, and we had to <laughs> yes, call someone to go. Yeah. Like, yes. They went behind there to like <laughs> unclog the balls and stuff. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about that. Was that was lady pretty sick. That yeah. like her job. Suck the yeah. balls. Yeah, we yeah. sucked them off. Yeah. Uh, I was trying to use some seven pound ball and it wasn't working because I was like trying to beat Max. I was like, I'm gonna bowl faster <laughs> with a sh- with a smaller ball and it didn't work. Man, Max is unbeatable. You can't beat no, him. No, you need the yeah, heavy that heavy ball. Yeah. More inertia. Yeah, heavy ball, six hundred and fifty pounds. <laughs> I think that's muscle. what was so sick about the video is just being able to watch that back and instantly put yourself back on that tour. Which I think for all of us was probably one of the most fun things we had done, and it's just yeah. like, it's the first just like see. I think that's what was sick was, first of all, like seeing all those people in the end, where it's just like all all the friends, and it's just like that's just so it's so hard uh, to watch my that. Favorite part of the video. Yeah, I can watch that rule. when I'm in a bad mood and just be like, man, that was fun. And yeah. I think the piss jugs <laughs> is also one of my favorite. Uh, yeah, that's a good one. Uh, <laughs> just because that's such a staple of touring is peeing. In a bottle, and I think uh, the one where you're like mixing piss. Core staple. <laughs> yeah, dude. It's a, a fucking uh, oh, dude. And Neo Cortex, smell. dude. Mixing fucking. Uh, yeah, that, dude, that's mixing funny, man. I love that. Of, yeah. Oh, God. Oh, I remember when, the it's one the video where you're spraying the piss dude, in that parking lot when you're in Maryland, and like I'm oh, filming man. it, you're laughing, I'm laughing, and like everyone else is just like, Alex, what are you doing? <laughs> and it's just like I just didn't want to get covered in piss. Yeah, yeah, but it, like Alex did like close <laughs> yeah, enough fair. where <laughs> No, nah, it was far enough. Oh, it was funny, dude. It's just like one of those things where you look back, it's like I think it's funny, but at the time everyone's just like, Oh I like that I mean, stuff. I thought it was funny. Yeah, but everyone's like like, uh, what is he doing? But it was cool. It was uh, yeah, it was just us there though, right? We didn't go there with anyone because No, yeah, it was just the five. Didn't we like tell like Sanjay about that like after or something? And I can't remember who Probably. We yeah, we stay was. with him that night. Yeah. Right, exactly. Yeah, that was an awesome <laughs> fucking remember. night. <laughs> that was yeah. a great night. Baltimore was a good night, even though that show was kind of weak, but it well, was good that hangs. Off night. That yeah, night before, night. when that we had the, we had the yeah, off day, it was the Monday. We hung out with the guys from Exist after that. Yeah, that was really that Max and Charlie. <clears throat> yeah, and Charlie, yeah. Charlie from, Aaron, uh, yeah. from Wait. That was awesome. That was a fun night. Yeah, that was a good time. That was a lot of fun going on that tour. Yeah, and I'm glad we have a video to memorialize yeah. that. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that does rule yeah. about it. Yeah, and there's a lot of good parts of it. My it's favorite. More, it's more for us uh, than it is for you. Yeah, so never watch kind it of. again. Yeah. So yeah, uh, kind of never watch it again if you wouldn't mind. That's some good uh, stuff. But um, yeah, otherwise I think you know the song itself just really provides an interesting flavor that you will hear. It's definitely a mesquite barbecue. Oh, all the way, yeah. That's what flavor you think it's it is? Sweet. It's, it's, it's sweet. It's honey, yeah, honey mustard, something like that. Yeah. Well, that's completely different than mesquite barbecue. I don't. I don't think you know. Like, <laughs> I don't see, think this is another thing. Like, you don't from, know. You don't from. know. Like, definitions. High def versus standard def, and you also <laughs> don't know flavor, dude. Okay. I got. I, I really, think. Um, I really think dude, you don't that's understand. Like some, some all dressed. That's all dressed. This this song. I will say too, as the second single for the record. That's all dressed. I think it was cool. We kind of did pick it intentionally to kind of be a left turn from Bliss Joint of the Bane, which yeah. came out first. You know, because everybody heard that and then thought we were a fucking deathcore band, and now they heard this, and and a lot of people just didn't know what to think at that point. Which yeah, is kind of cool. I think that was very awesome. Piss um, counter. Bing. <laughs> so yeah, it was pretty fun in that regard. Um, <clears throat> just releasing it as the second single, because I think I wa- sometimes I wonder what would it have been like if we had dropped that song first. But I think I don't know. I, I wonder what I think it might have been more of a negative reaction as a whole, maybe to the change. And in, in, I don't know. It's hard to say. It's really hard to say, and it's like you can't yeah. go back in time and try it again. So it's but like I mean, who knows? But yeah, I know what you mean. Was, yeah, was and Bliss- we really didn't get get. I don't think. We got as much shit as nearly any of us thought we would for this, for any of that shit, you know, for no. like singing or anything. No. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I think that it was very welcome and I think, yeah. Right. It's so common it these fits. days too, you know? Yeah. It's not trying to like shove it in there. I think that's what right, is right, so great yeah. about it is like the vocals fit so well and they're well done and it's like, 
it just works. We didn't yeah. fuck around and do some like let's just throw singing here. It's like it was exactly. thought out. Yeah. And I think that works. And I'm I'm proud of that. I'm proud we did that and we took the chance and we yeah. made it happen and it turned out to be an awesome song that I think really represents the band where we are and like is very collaborative in a good way that showcases all of us and our best strengths. And I think that's just cool. Yeah, I so. agree for sure. But yeah. <gasps> well shit. Oh, and uh I guess really quick the solo. So that's a solo oh, I yeah. wrote. Um I uh, I had a really hard time writing the solo because it was um like a weird key thing. I don't know what the keys are. Alex might remember if he's done, you know, flushing <laughs> his his bowels. Um, but I think popping an H, yeah, popping an H into the bowl. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, another one for the day. Um, yeah, I, I think uh, so. Yeah, I had a hard time with the solo when I was trying to do something. I knew I wanted to do something that was slower and more melodic, and not like because I'm not a flashy lead player. So I wanted to do something a little slower and melodic because of that. And um, I was like humming a solo in the shower, and I just hummed it out. And I <laughs> like the first half of the solo was hummed out, and then I recorded myself humming it. And then I figured it out in guitar, and that's kind of how I wrote it. So it was kind of a weird way of doing it, but it helped me figure it that's out. Sick, I think though. that's a dub way of doing it. Yeah, yeah. I think it's cool. I yeah. Yeah. It I makes wish, it very like musical. I, I don't know. Like I wish I could catchy. like like uh, anytime I hum out a melody or something, I wish I could remember it long enough to like be able to record it and then try to do that. But yeah, just, that's the hard voice part. Memos, it's gonna be gone on your so phone, quick. man. Yeah, that's what I do. Yeah, five. Uh, yeah, but I know. Like the problem with the voice memos can be like I've tried doing that, and if you don't know what key you're singing in. Because you're just singing and then you can't figure that out later. It's oh, easier yeah. to do it over a song because then at least you have the key and you know if you're right. in tune. Oh, yeah. Versus like you're just singing oh. and you're like, because you have bad pitch, you're like singing a note between C sharp and C or something, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. then you listen to it later and it's like, what the fuck is yeah, this? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you don't have the reference for it. But yeah, but yeah that was kind of cool. And I oh, definitely yeah. think I'll, I'll do that again is try to hum out a solo potentially. Yeah, do you know what key that solo section is in? What switches it's between? like D major and D minor. Right? Okay, so yeah. switch between the major and minor. Do you think he's yeah. right about that because he was wrong about the definition? It's yeah, 100% it's, right. It's, yeah, yeah, he's definitely right. I'm okay. dumb. Cool. Look, look, just come because I'm that, right I don't about... know that shit. I need somebody else to make sure you got your shit together about it. Attention world, standard definition is 720p. HG doesn't start till 10 Like and subscribe and comment <laughs> below for how wrong Alex is about the uh, we should, uh, uh, resolution. We should make sure this video is only available in high definition. So 1080p? starting at 720. 720p. <laughs> Sweet. 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 Please, everyone watching this, uh, you know, it's kind of pretty late. In the video, but you should probably switch to 720p at this time. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah, smart. standard yeah. standard def. And yeah, also switch. put it at times two speed. And, uh, it, baby, you know man. I, was I, don't, I don't give a I don't give a fart, bro. Oh, now, now we can all talk a little food you would eat. Uh, and yeah. now the megapixel on a goddamn phone screen. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Anything else, anyone else wants to say about the no. song? Um, I'm good. I think that's everything I got about yeah. it. Cool. Well, Sheridan 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 Thank you all for listening to this episode on Sheridan it's Road. It's a fucking cool song on the record. Um, if you haven't heard it, check out the music video. Uh, listen to it anywhere music is available. And right. if you want to buy the shirt for Sheridan Road, go to merch.warforgeband.com. Yes. We still have some. Yes. Please purchase. Your commemorative <laughs> shirt. Commemorative <laughs> anniversary <laughs> shirt. And next time we'll see you, it'll be daylight out again, and I'll have my hair back. <laughs> <laughs> so that'll be fun, right? Yeah, yeah that is pretty cool. Dude. And then, uh, I'll jump back to this in uh, about uh, 45 when minutes. When it becomes a rat's nest, then he gon' <laughs> shave it, it off. A rat's nest, <laughs> then he gon' go shave it off. <laughs> and then All right. All right. Right. So long, yeah. Warforgians. See you guys. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next edition Bye. of this. Bye. Bye.